we're doing shit face shit fix today. Welcome to all of you watching. This is the show where we read really shitty fanfics while we're shit faced. And we read it with guests and with other barcast people. And today we have reading with us Brother Priest. Ah. We also have Skittle Tits. Oh, is there candy? And we have Z. Hello, Internet. How are you today? Yay! Well, so for those who don't know who Skittle Tits and Z are, Z is my husband and Skittle Tits is my girlfriend. If that's confusing, I don't care. So we're going to read a story today. And why don't you tell us a little bit about this story, Priest? Yes, this is a story by an author named Evictus. Uh, it is called A Personal Problem, and it is about Fluttershy, Twilight, and Spike, and Humanized. Fluttershy has something wrong with her, so she goes to see Twilight about it. And it's rated M. Um, and yep. it's from Evictus. We've had a lot of requests for Evictus, and this was recommended to us, and we're going to give it a shot! And we're going to have um, Z reading as Spike, we're going to have Priest narrating, we're going to have Skittle Tits reading as Twilight, and we're going to have me reading as Fluttershy. And I might even do the Fluttershy voice. I don't even I don't even know yet. I might just not give a shit. And any time we have to stop because something is just terrible, you drink, or you just drink whatever you feel like it, because we're shit-faced shit-fix, motherfucker, Already and that's what we started. do. What? Already started to drink. Good. Already starting to drink. Okay. Gotcha. Un understood. I wasn't sure what you said there. So... I guess we're gonna start. Do you wanna, you wanna start with this priest? Let's do it. All right. First of all, thank you to James Baxter for the follow. Um, this is Seeking Help from a Friend, the only chapter. Twilight was going through documents while she was sitting at the throne with Spike, who now was an adult, was helping by finding extra documents when she asked him for some. While she read a lot of the documents, she heard the door open and some pomi entering her castle. She wondered who it was that came to see her. As her and Spike continued to work, she heard the pony enter the room, so they both finished up as quickly as they could, and then they both stopped and Twilight looked up and saw shining armor. Twilight ran up to him and gave him a big hug. I guess that's, um, I'm going to give that to Z since Spike doesn't have that many lines. Uh, Z, read for Shining Armor as well, please. Hey, Twilight. I just came to see how you're doing. I decided to drop by. Cadence and Flurry Heart are doing wonderful, if you wanted to know. Shining Armor said. Twilight stopped hugging him. I appreciate that a lot. I'm doing fine. I was just doing some work with organiza or organization after that. I was going to take a nap, but now I don't think I can. Twilight exclaimed. <laughs> Shining Armor <laughs> chuckled and kissed her forehead. Do you want to do something today? I can come back another time if you want <clears throat> to when you're not busy. Shining Armor asked. Twilight shrugged as if she didn't have anything important planned. She also didn't need to do her documents anymore. Hang on, we're having technical difficulty. Oh god, what now? No, we're fixing it, just... Are we able to scroll? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do something today? I... Oh, no, 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 no. You're, no, it's the next time. Sure I do, that's you. Well, sure I... Sorry, we have had to scroll three times. Sure I do, I don't have anything else planned uh, at the moment. Me and Spike just finishing sorting papers, so that's out of the way. Twilight said. Twilight up and started to leave with Shining Armor. Spike, watch the place for me, and if you leave to go somewhere, lock the castle's doors. I don't want any burglaries. Twilight <laughs> said to him. Spike nodded, as he knew he always supposed to do that. Once <laughs> this dialogue is so bad! <laughs> <laughs> Once Twilight and Shining Armor left, Spike locked the doors and went off to find something to do. Lazy fuck. <laughs> He looked to see if he still had any magazines, which he still did, so he started to read one of them. He felt a bit lonely, though, so put it down and realized how empty it was without Twilight or Starlight Glimmer as she had left the castle earlier. 
Spike continued to read the magazine for quite a while. He got bored by reading it, but he didn't stop as she just needed to do something to pass the time. Okay, gender swap. <laughs> he didn't feel like going anywhere either. I know that feeling. As he worried about the day getting even more boring, he heard someone coming down the hallway. He wondered if it was one of Twilight's friends. Fluttershy then walked into Spike's room pretty slowly. He had no idea she was even in the castle. Did Twilight know she was here but refused to tell him? Um, Spike, how long is it going to be until Twilight comes back? Fluttershy asked. Spike shrugged, as he now regretted not asking Twilight about the time she would be back at the castle. I don't know. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't think to ask her. She will probably be back in a few hours. Knowing her, she might be out all day with her brother, but I'm not certain. Why do you need to know? Spike said. Fluttershy looked down at the floor as she didn't want to explain why she was asking for Twilight as it was too embarrassing. I need help with a very personal issue that she can help with, and if I don't see her, I'll need to find someone else with helpful advice for the issue. Can you please tell her? Fluttershy asked. Spike nodded. Of course, Fluttershy. Just stay here for a bit, and I'll go find her and bring her back. You'll be all right here. Spike said. Fluttershy nodded. Spike then left to find Twilight. It took him a while to search for Twilight, but after a while he found her and told her that Fluttershy needed her help. Twilight nodded and told Spike to tell Fluttershy that she would be home in a few moments. Spike oh my went God. back home and told Fluttershy what Twilight said. <laughs> she said that she would be home in a few moments. If she was patient enough to wait, she would appreciate that. Spike said. Good Lord. <laughs> this is purple prose. There's so many. Oh, this is redundant as fuck. Anyway, continue. Fluttershy said that she would wait and just sat <laughs> on the guest chair in the entrance waiting for her friend. She grew a bit anxious, but tried to stay calm as much as possible. Soon Twilight got back, so Fluttershy stood up immediately. Hi, Fluttershy! Hi, Spike! How are you when I was gone? When did Fluttershy get here? Twilight said with a calm smile. Got my medicated? Just one ago, she came over asking for your help. I told her she could stay here and wait for you. <laughs> Spike said. Twilight nodded and looked at Fluttershy. Oops, so sorry. All right, then, what do you need help with? That's what we all want to know. I don't fucking know! Who's sharing pills? Like, this is ridiculous. Twilight <laughs> asked as she was eager to help her friend. Fluttershy blushed as she looked over at the other rooms and then looked at Twilight. It's kind of a personal issue that pertains to girls. Do you know what I mean? It would be inappropriate to show you in front of him. Can we go someplace private? Fluttershy said. Of course we can. We can go to my bedroom. I'll lock the door there. Twilight said. Aggressive. Twilight led Fluttershy up to her bedroom as Fluttershy became a little nervous about showing Twilight her problem as the problem was very personal and private and a little embarrassing and a problem. We got it. We got it. They both made it to the bedroom, and they both walked inside. Twilight shut the door and locked it, and then she gave Fluttershy her undivided attention. So what's wrong? Whatever it is, I'll do the, or I'll help you to the best of my ability. Twilight said. Fluttershy tried to speak, but she blushed as she rubbed her legs together nervously. Fluttershy finally managed to speak. I have an issue down there. Do you know what I mean? I have, well, you know what I'm saying. It's my private area. It's... Fluttershy said as she stuttered for words. Twilight perfectly understood her. You mean your vagina? <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. No, you said it in such a valley girl voice. I fucking love it. Do it. Twilight <laughs> asked for confirmation. Fluttershy nodded frantically. Yes, that's... It's right. What was that sentence? Yes, that's... 
It's red. I don't know what exactly is wrong with it. It's just really red. It was flying yesterday, but also itchy and kind of painful, Fluttershy said. Twilight immediately became alarmed. All right, I'll look at it if you want. I won't touch you or anything. You can trust me, okay? I never betray your trust like that. I just want to take a look and see what I can do, okay? Twilight asked. <laughs> Fluttershy nodded and sat down on the bed and then proceeded to slowly remove her pants with her shake. Oh, that's right, they're humans. <laughs> oh, I thought we were ponies this whole time. No, we're humanized ponies. We we what? anthro. She proceeded I like this to. Way better if they're not. I'm gonna imagine it's a pony with pants. <laughs> hey, we've pants, all seen though. that picture of the horse in the plaid three-piece suit, right? Yes. Yes. Of course. He has pants. Sorry. <laughs> she proceeded to slowly remove her pants with her shaky hands. Twilight gave her a reassuring nod, telling her that it would be okay. Fluttershy took a few deep breaths and finished taking her pants off. Fluttershy slipped her panties off and laid back, and she spread her legs exposing herself. Twilight examined her friend's private spot for a few moments, and then after a few minutes she realized what was wrong with it. You have a vaginal yeast infection. I have the signs in there to confirm it. What have you... Uh... What have you been doing to give yourself a vaginal yeast infection? Twilight asked. <laughs> Fluttershy tried to remember, but couldn't. She told Twilight that she honestly didn't remember. Oh, God. <laughs> Twilight stood up, and Fluttershy pulled up her pants and sat up. Uh, the best thing I can do for you is to recommend an antifungal cream. Go to the doctor and they can prescribe it to you. Fucking A, go to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight said. Fluttershy thanked her best friend and had herself checked at the doctor and got medicine for her problem. She took it and after a couple of days, her condition went away. She was grateful for Twilight's help as Twilight had taken time out of her day to check Fluttershy. Such a hard left turn. <laughs> After school special landing. <laughs> That's the story. So, what do we think, you guys? Get checked for your vag. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a vagina and it's red and itchy, don't ask your friend to check for you. Go to the doctor, please. Don't trust the internet either. <laughs> no. Because you're having a red and puffy vagina doesn't necessarily mean you have a yeast infection. You might just have been hitting that a little too hard. Yeah. Priest, what do you think of this story? All around me are familiar faces. <laughs>